holy crap, something amazing happened. We got Twitch affiliation. Yeah. Details coming up in this week's Let's Connect. Hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome back to this week's Love. Let's connect where we basically just connect with each other, talk about whatever, and uh, basically have a good time. And the first thing I want to talk about is Twitch affiliation. Guys, we did it. It took seven streams, but we were able to get Twitch affiliation. You have to wait at least seven days or seven individual streams anyways. And we did it. And oh my gosh, did we ever have an epic time uh, it was so awesome and so thank you everybody for your support you helped me get twitch affiliation and it, it was it's phenomenal and i'm actually really enjoying streaming on twitch uh even more so our very first uh, which was uh, which was friday our very first twitch affiliation stream oh my gosh i knew subs new followers bits donations everything we just had a freaking awesome party and it was a great time so guys i do want to say thank you thank you thank you for um, supporting me, watching, uh, hosting, all of that stuff. And uh, I'm having actually a really awesome time over Twitch. I think it's really good. And the community seems to be pretty awesome right now. So if you haven't, if you haven't streamed on Twitch yet, it is right here. Yeah. Hit that link, follow, subscribe, consider subscribing, which is really cool. We're having good times. Uh, and so, yeah, that is Twitch. And so remember, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm streaming on Twitch, and we'll probably add another day or so, but I'm going to still keep streaming on YouTube as well. Uh, but Twitch, we're, what we've got going on over there has been actually really fun. We're meeting new people, amazing people, and uh, we're just hanging out and having good times, and uh, we're just having, it's, it's just been really good. And so, guys, My Past is Legacy still going, coming out every week. Uh, this week, if you've seen Friday's My Past is Legacy, Isaac played Pac-Man, and so... Um, so some of them, obviously, some of you know, we play on ROMs. And the very first, I wanted to do an arcade version of Pac-Man. <clears throat> and the first the first one we tried to find, it was I was like, all right, let's do this, bud. And if you've seen, the ghost had like a little, a little green, uh, a green leaf sticking out of his head. And there was a can of Coke or something like that. I'll say Jolt uh, down at the bottom. And, and Isaac picked up on it right away. He's like, why is there leaves on her head? Why is there, why is there Coca-Cola? He said, not pop or anything like that. And yes, in Canada, we call, uh, the Americans call it soda. Uh, in Canada, we call it pop. And uh, he's like, why is there Coca-Cola sitting there? And, and that, it, was, it was super funny. And then we did our one coin, one credit, and had a really good time playing that Shaolin's uh shaolin something i forget i actually forget the last part but it was it was um it was requested by kimmy and uh it was actually really fun to play i had a good time doing that and so i'm <clears throat> i just want to say guys i'm really really enjoying doing my past as legacy one coin one credit again and doing these let's connects and i'm going to tell you right now uh when i record this video we are eight i believe we are eight off 11k and when I announced that I'm not going to be doing Fortnite every single day or hardly at all, uh, we lost a ton of subs. But it looks like the Fortnite only crowd has kind of filtered their way out of my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm going to miss them, but they're here for a game. They're not here for community. They're not here for fun. They're not here for me. Uh, and, and even though I'm there for them. And so uh, the, the Fortnite, uh, Fortnite only people seem to have gone. And we're now we're, we're gaining more people and uh, we're playing different games, having tons of fun. And it's actually just been such a great, uh, great transition over the last three weeks of not doing Fortnite every day and streaming on Twitch. And, and just I, I like where we're going. And with that said, I believe I'm, I posted a reaction vid. You guys asked me to do some. And so there's others coming up. Uh, but I posted I posted one on uh, Men of Medan, I believe it is. And I filmed it, I recorded it, I put it up on YouTube, and the sound quality didn't even really come through, just me chatting. Uh, and so we'll, we'll chalk that up as a learning experience. And I know some people don't like, um, and like reaction videos, and that's okay. But I'm a variety channel, mainly gaming, and I'm going to do that stuff, and I'm going to add that up there for those who enjoy that stuff. So... I'm actually really excited. And um, and so we've got a couple other things. We've actually got two music videos people requested. 
Um, and uh, I have no clue. Only one I know of the singer. The other one uh, I don't even know. So we'll see. I'll do it up. I'll post them up. And I'm not going to do uh, three to four um, reaction videos and just throw them up for poops and giggles. Um, there's somebody that my brother watches. And uh, that's all you see. You go to his channel. He posts like five reaction videos. He's, it just It just looks really stupid. Uh, but every day there's going to be new videos and new streams, guys. And just as a heads up, you got to come on Twitch for the weekends because we are having a great time there. And so I want to talk to you about a little bit about Let's Connect. What we are doing is we are kind I'm trying to turn this into a show, not just like me rambling, but I want to add some things. So we are going to we're going to have kind of like a structure to Let's Connect. And today we're starting with it. And I'm actually excited. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is hot topic. Oh, that's a hot topic. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is YouTubers not replying to comments. Uh, and so I had posted, I had posted on my Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, guys. The link's in the description. Uh, I had posted on Twitter, like, hey, guys, for all YouTubers... Uh, let me know what you think about replying to comments. Do you reply to comments? And and so I did get some feedback, which is really good. We actually had 33 votes, which it, which is cool. So it said up here, and you can, it's all right here. So you can see, okay, quick question to fellow content creators. Do you reply to YouTube comments on your videos? I'm surprised that 73, only 73% said yes. 12% said no. 3% said I don't have time. 12% only a select few. Now, I want to talk about this, and I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm not calling, I'm calling you out. I'm not doing any stuff like that. Uh, but this is a hot topic, and this is actually a serious thing for me. And here's what I've learned from, from me doing YouTube, is I get up extra early in the morning so I can reply to comments and read comments and go back to people's channels and pay them uh, the same uh, courtesy that they did for me. Now, those of you that say I don't have time, especially YouTubers that do this full time, especially YouTubers that don't really do anything else, but hey, I, I stream, I do videos. But um, but if you don't comment on on your comments, I, I don't I don't understand that. Guys, guys and girls, I, I have a full time job. I do streaming part time and I have two sons and a wife and I balance out my day and I still make time for YouTube family. And I, I don't know, I, I think I think you may be cheapening out your fans by not commenting. Now look at some of these comments right here. You're gonna see Brooke, who is Shrubby Baby, who just passed 3K subscribers. This girl, I'll tell you right now, if you're not checked her out, check her out. Shrubby Baby is her name. And she's a rock star. She, she's growing so quickly. She's a Fortnite legend. She's playing and she streams three to four times a day or something like that. Uh, but Brooke, really proud of you. You're doing an amazing job. She says yes and try to support those back. So that's the thing. She'll comment on uh, the comments that are left. She'll comment back and she tries to go back to their channel, which is amazing. Uh, we've got Dale here says every single comment. Uh, I've taken close to a year off of posting my content, so I don't know how easy it would be to start back up again and keep up. But I saw a Gary V thing on how uh, you better yourself by taking the time to interact. Isn't that, that's key. That is key. If, you got to treat YouTube now as like a social media. Uh, if Unless you're one of those giant YouTubers that you've already got your fan base and or you're one of the, the, those toxic guys that, that you just don't even care. I get it. Whatever, I'm not one of those people, so I guess it is harder for an old fart like me to do that. So my man, Comic Book Plus. Now look at this. He says, well, it depends if it's a great video or something like that in the comments. Now, I will talk about that. I still reply to those, those lame comments. Great video or nice video. That stuff's nonsense. You know all they did is copy and paste, pop. They didn't watch your video. They didn't even put it for 30 seconds, a minute. Uh, not even 10 seconds. They just copy and paste, boom, they're out of there. And I don't care much about analyt analytics, so it doesn't really uh, offend me or bug me at all. And sometimes I'll reply back a nice comment. Or I'll copy and paste their comment and just do the same thing to them. It's whatever. Uh, but I still reply to their comment, but that stuff's lame. And he goes on to say, I will like slash heart if it's more than uh, that We where we reply wouldn't only be thank you. 
since I feel the heart services as a thank you. All right, so so CVP here, he'll actually do a heart instead of saying thank you. For me, I do, for the majority of the generic comments, I just copy and paste thank you. And, uh, and if they do, if they're more of an interaction, I, I'm more than happy to reply something in return. Uh, Jacob Andrew says, always. Now, I like this story. At an NBA uh, a game, I'm assuming, as a kid, I had a small interaction with a favorite player, and it always struck, uh, always stuck with me. Something as a small as a reply to a comment could mean the world to someone who looks up to you. I ignore the trolls and negativity, but always take time to reply to fans. Troubles shuffle. He says, I try to as much as possible. You never know how it affects someone. They could be in a really bad time and, ha and by have a small interaction with someone they like and follow or admire could mean the world to them at a time. I think, I think those of you that are, I, I guess, not, not huge, but even if you are huge, like if you're a huge YouTuber, you have time to reply to comments. Like if you're a huge YouTuber, 99% of the time, you're not working a full-time job. This is your job. YouTube is your job. So um, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying that reply to comments. We're your fans. So you got to see a 42-year-old old guy like me, people I fanboy over, um, if they interact with me whatsoever, it's just like, oh, this is amazing, yeah, and I'm so excited. So YouTubers, content creators, Twitchers, even if you're on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, I highly, highly recommend and commend you to please reply to your fan base, please. All right, guys, there's something that I wanted to add and uh, into this, and we're going to do, we're going to start trying to do it every week, and it's called a retro look back. Here comes something retro. Now this retro look back I saw on Facebook the other day. It is freaking hilarious. And I'm actually excited to play this. Uh, and when I got the eye, when I saw the video, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be great for Let's Connect, a good segment. So here we go. This is actually called Mr. T, Treat Your Mother Right. And uh, we're actually going to, we're going to play it together. I'll do some... Uh, whatever just watch this this is so awesome here we go well you couldn't be more than five you're so fat they have to jack you up to take off your shoes yeah well you're so skinny your eyes are in single file well you're so Ugly, your ears stick out to get away from your face. <laughs> well, your mama is Hold so... Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother into this. All right, so you can bash each other, trash each other, say some horrible things, but as soon as you talk about somebody's mama, wait a minute, you don't talk about no mama? You don't bring your mama in here? Check this out. She ain't here. If it wasn't for your mother, you wouldn't be here. So remember, when you put down one mother, you put down mothers all over the world. But your mothers... I'll pull it out of his bum crack. Here he comes. Now, listen to this. Mother, there is no other like mother. So treat her right. Mother, I always love her. My mother. So treat her right, treat her right. Emmys from the moon and the miserable groan from the pain that she felt when I was born. <laughs> now, did you hear that? M! M was for the moan. And he goes on to say, when I was bone. <laughs> what the heck? So only Mr. T could rhyme moan with born. When your mama with the bone. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I mean, this is awesome. Here we go. Always for the oven with this burning heat. Where she stood and making sure I had something to eat. Tea is for the time that she stayed up night and took my temperature when I wasn't feeling right. It's just for the hard earned money she spent to keep clothes on my back and try to pay the rent. <laughs> pay the rent. Get. 
Yeah! Mother, there is no other. Mother! Treat her right. Now, okay, now hold on, wait. Did you see that? That little kid, kid, I would assume she's taking the kid to school. What did the kid have all over her face to give her a kiss that left this giant mark? Like, for, for breakfast, son, you're about to have some pasta. Here you go. Now, how many kids, now, I, I know I have some young people watching me, but how many of you guys are groping your mother on her shoulders? Like, this mother sitting here, so uncomfortable, this woman, oh, so uncomfortable, and this little kid here has a major chubby going on because he's rubbing on some strange lady's neck. <laughs> yes. Come on now. All right, that was absolutely outstanding. And so we are actually going to do more retro lookbacks. I'm going to try to do one every week, but that was friggin' amazing. Friggin' amazing. Absolutely love it. Guys, tell me what you think down the bottom. Uh, even if there's some uh, some old, uh, I, I guess it's come more of a reaction thing, but I already seen this and I was like, this is top notch. You got to realize the 80s, uh, 1980, I was five years old. So I got to enjoy all of that epicness throughout the entire 80s. Full of cheese, haha, <laughs> fromage. All right, guys, we are ready to rock the sub of the week. Ooh, now for the sub of the week. This week's sub of the week goes to my good friend out in Winnipeg, Manitoba. His name is Dawkins Gaming, a.k.a. Todd. Yeah. Guys, here, I want you to check this out here. Dawkins Gaming is a Twitch streamer who, uh, he only has 44 followers. He needs six more followers on Twitch to get to an affiliate status. He's got the watch time. He's got everything else. He streams all the time. He is a phenomenal dude. His name is, is twitch.tv slash Dawkins Gaming. Dawkins Gaming. So check him out with a... With, check him out. Here, here's a little taste. Here's a little taste of old Todd boy. He, so Todd plays hunting games, battlefield, everything. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> as soon as we pop on, this is my man... Todd, a.k.a. Dawkins Gaming. <laughs> Ticket, he did a fail right there. Okay. Guys, you need to subscribe to, to Dawkins Gaming. Let's push him to 50, everybody. Take your Twitch account. Subscribe to him. We need to get him to an affiliate status, guys. If you could just take your account, subscribe to Todd. He's an awesome dude. Good Canadian boy. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal man. And uh, it, it's just awesome. Guys, all right. If there's anything else you'd like me to, like, to see part of this Let's Connect show... Uh, I, I, I love doing it. I think this is a must for our channel. We're having lots of fun. Uh, and, and let me know what you think of some of the changes. And we're going to be, this is going to keep evolving until I get it right and perfect. And some little things we're going to do. But everybody, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. More importantly, leave a comment so I can leave a comment back to you. I want to get to know you guys. I really do. And that's it for now. My name is Paul. You guys take care.